So a video popped up on my feed and it was from a channel that has over a million subscribers. And the video's title was George Bush's death was foretold by prophet TB Joshua. And I said, who in the world is TB Joshua? I haven't heard of TB Joshua. And so initially, you know, I'm gonna be a little bit skeptical when I see something like that, but I went ahead and clicked on it. And when I watched the video, I was thinking to myself, there's no way people really are gonna take this seriously. But a lot of people did. When I looked at the comments, a lot of people were very sold out on it. So the video is actually really short. It's only 49 seconds. So we can actually go through the entire video. And really, the guy only made three points. So we can go ahead and talk about each of those three points. Well, for some time now, I've not been dabbling into an international issue. This one is very close. A president who is very sick outside this country. I'm seeing dead. This is dead. Okay, he says, a president who's very sick outside of this country, I'm seeing death. So automatically people are assuming that he's talking about George Bush, right? Now my first thought was, the current president is Donald Trump, it's not George Bush. So the guy could have said a former president or an ex-president, but he didn't. He said a president. So he's already wrong on the first account. So let's go ahead and look at the next one. They will try to revive it, but no way. It's okay. I've been the S before now. They will try all their effort to revive, but no way. Okay. Next, he says how they tried to revive him. But the problem with that is that they didn't try to revive him. How do we know? We know because according to the people who were there, Bush was asked if he wanted to go to the hospital and he said no because he was ready to be with Barbara and Robin. And also right before his death, he spoke with his son, George W., who said that he was a wonderful father. And George of a senior replied by saying, I love you too. So you can ask yourself, would it make any sense for people to try to revive him? Of course not. Open your lips and pray for God's intervention. It's so they dead. They will try to revive whatever, whatever way. So you just pray, let the will of God be done. And the last thing he did was he encouraged his congregation to go ahead and pray so that way God would intervene. But the congregation prayed for him and he still died. Either this guy is the most demonstrable and the most obvious false prophet of our generation and he's deceiving people and leading them astray as the Bible predicted and actually got right. Or this guy wasn't talking about Bush and in that case then this video shouldn't be floating around anyway. But if he wasn't talking about Bush then I would expect for this guy to tell his congregation and others that he was not talking about Bush. And if he refuses to do so then my guess is that he's a con man who's deceiving people willfully. So why does all this matter? Well, what really gets me about this is that people don't realize what they're saying when they say that God is telling them stuff. When people are saying this, that they're prophets, whenever they say that God is telling me stuff, what they mean is that what they're saying that God is telling them is on the same footing as the Word of God. In the Old Testament, people would be killed for that. But why this bothers me so much is that when I looked at the comments, I saw a lot of people who were sincerely convinced that this guy was a prophet. And going by the comments, I'm assuming that this guy has a really big following in Nigeria. So there's a lot of people who listen to what he says and thinks that it's on footing with the Word of God. So what happens when these people find out that this guy has less predictive power than a fortune cookie? Like a lot of people who grew up in similar churches, they end up concluding that God is a sham. And then you wonder why there's so many people, like a lot of people on YouTube, that refuse to believe that anything a Christian says is the truth because they're convinced that Christians cannot be trusted. They're convinced that Christians are liars and they're trying to use Christianity to take advantage of people. A lot of people that I meet that are ex-Christians now grew up in churches like this where they heard a lot of this stuff that was obviously false and then they conclude that they were deceived for their entire life. So now they don't trust anything that has the religion or Christianity stamped on it. I went through a similar experience to this and so did my twin brother who I recently did a video with. My twin and I both vowed to never be deceived by being gullible. The difference between my brother and I is that he didn't want to sift through all the different religions to find out if there was truth, and I did. So I spent several years studying to try to get to the core of the truth because I didn't want to be deceived either. Now I'm sure you know someone like my brother, someone who doesn't want anything to do with Christianity because they were let down by church members. That's why it's important for us to be wise, learn how to think correctly, think hard about our faith and think hard about what we believe in. And that's also why it's important for there to be videos like this. I recently made a playlist that deals with a lot of the foundational things to try to help people know how to think clearly about things and sift through those things. The playlist only has a few videos in it now, but I'm working really hard on trying to update it consistently so that way I can try to help to give you guys some foundational tools that will be able to help you sift through what is true and what's not true. So 
So if this is your first time here or you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe so that way you make sure you don't miss anything. But in the meantime, the next time that someone tells you that they're a prophet but they sound like a $5 psychic that you found on Groupon, what are you gonna say? What do you mean?